All right, on today's episode of Python Poppy, we're back inside our Tensor Flow course, and we're still doing our Human Emotions Detection Module. Let's have a look at what we went over today. Yesterday, you recall the last thing we went over was the, I think we were going over the evaluation of our model. We didn't get to run it, but I did run it overnight, and this is what we got. So the whole model took about 183 seconds, 183 seconds to run, about 830 milliseconds per step, or 883 steps, sorry about that, and 830 milliseconds per step. The loss was 0.3. The accuracy of the model was a 0.8. And the top K accuracy was a 0.9. And we actually moved on from that. So let's do some reading and see what we went over today. Now we're ready to test this model on an image in our testing data set. This is how we're going to do that using the OpenCV library, CV2. Now this is the code that we implemented to actually test our image. Test image equals CV2 dot image read. This is the image that we're going to read. I just picked a random image from our data set to import there. Then we will convert this into a tensor and also specify the data type. This is the process we will use to do that. You can see image equals tf.constant, test image, data type equals tf float32. And then we just uh, went through more, let me see, more note taking. And then we actually, uh, what's this right here? Image equals tf.expand dimensions, image axis equals zero. And then we, I think, printed out the results of our net model passed in our image and we passed in our image to our Lynette model if you remember we uh we hooked up our Lynette model in such a way that we're going to pass our model through our Lynette model and the Lynette model is actually going to do the resizing and the rescaling for us if you don't remember what we're talking about right now it's okay i'm not going to go over every detail of that but that's exactly what we did instead of resizing and rescaling the image outside of the model we actually configured the model to do it for us so we passed the image through the model and the model resizes and rescales it for us and then we actually ran everything. So we actually test our model out on an image here. We ran everything. As you can see, this is what we got down here. You see the tf.tensor. Let me explain to you what you're looking at right here. So you see these three sets of numbers, 0 0.009, 0 0.9, and 0 0.005. These are our classifications for our expressions, for our states of, this is gonna be, I think, sad. This is happy, and this is angry. So you can see the 0, 0.00 match for sad. 0.9 match for happy and a 0.05 match for angry and how do we know that this is the correct one 0.9 if i go back up and show you that the image we used the random image we picked is one from a happy data set so you can see here happy so our model is correctly predicting the classification of our images like i said the 0.9 is going to be the happy position and our model correctly predicted that it is a happy image that it's looking at so that's pretty much everything we did of course, I will keep you posted every step of the way moving forward. But of course, this is the Python Poppy. You guys stay Gucci.